Hi, I'm Kyle and this is Ask an Engineer where we answer all of your questions about foundation and concrete repair and I'll bet you want to know more about that. So let's go. All right, there are a lot of ways to build foundation walls and if you've seen our show before, you've heard us talk about concrete block quite a bit. Well, today we're going to be talking about cast in place or poured concrete walls. Now the good news about poured concrete walls is they are far superior to block walls in strength. And that's because they include reinforcement right from the beginning. And a lot of block walls were built without any reinforcing at all. Now the bad news about poured concrete is even though it's much stronger than block, it's not entirely immune to foundation problems. It will actually just show its signs of distress in a different way. You may have seen when we did an experiment about block wall, where we talked about the shape of a distressed block wall forming the shape of a belly. We say that it has a bowed shape. But a poured concrete wall doesn't usually take that shape. A poured concrete wall is much, much stronger. So, if we do a similar experiment with this solid piece of wood, instead of several loosely placed blocks, immediately you notice that this is a much stronger wall. So, even though it's much better at resisting the soil pressures from the exterior, what eventually happens is something else will break. And that something else is the connection at the top of the wall where your house is sitting on it. So that connection can break free, allowing the top of the wall to slide inward, which gives the wall a leaning shape. So we say that block walls have a bowing shape and poured concrete walls have a leaning shape. So the wall itself stays largely intact, but it just leans in and breaks free from the support above. The only cracking you'll see largely in a poured concrete wall is gonna be as it approaches the corners, which is a stiffer part of the structure. So you'll see these diagonal cracks uh, develop just at the corners. Now a common misunderstanding with poured concrete walls is some owners will think that they actually have brick walls even though that the home was built very, very recently. And this is actually done just with the formwork that's used to pour the concrete. That formwork will actually have a texture on the formwork itself. So when the concrete is placed within that formwork, when those forms are broken away, it leaves the appearance of individual bricks with joints in between them. And that is done strictly for aesthetic purposes. But if you have a home that was built within the last, say, 20 years, pretty good chance that it is a poured concrete wall. Now, if you have a poured concrete wall and you're seeing some of these signs of distress, you might be wondering, is there any way to fix them? And the answer is yes, of course. And actually, there are a lot of ways. And we are gonna talk about each of those methods on future episodes of Ask an Engineer. So go ahead and click the like button. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. That's not gonna hurt my feelings. I'm Kyle and we are out.